collagen and then you're writing other things. <laughs> what up? What is good, people? Uh, welcome to my channel, See I Get Fit. This is a channel that will give you authentic information and training routines as well. So today's topic is about five things that I wish I knew before I started training. Let's jump into it. Uh, first one, resting. Back in the in, in the teen years, you know, resting is is taking is taken as a as, a, as something that is not really important, you know, because when you're still in your teen teen years, the only thing you wanna do is just train, 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 and only to find out later on that you actually tearing, breaking each and every cell when you are training. You're not building anything. You're not building any muscle tissue. Only thing you're doing, you are just damaging. And for you to get proper results, what you need to do, you need to get a proper rest day, which it can be two days or three days. I take three days from, uh, from Friday till Sunday, I'm resting. Sometimes, yeah, it gets messy here and there, then I just find myself in the gym. <laughs> you know, habits, you know, I'm trying to build some good habits here. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> so, when you're resting, that is when actually the cell is starting to form in, into a tissue. And that tissue is the muscle that you want. And that's when also all the fat that you don't need in your body starts to fade away. Because for, for the process of turning cell into a tissue, you need energy to do that. And the energy that is used at that time, most of the time, is the fat because I'm fat adapted so any type of energy that that is used in my body it all comes from fat so you lose fat as you recover the second one is proper nutrition this is the most important part when it comes to building anything in your body nutrition nutrition plays a role in cellular mutation multiplication duplication anything that has to do with forming a cell into a tissue you need energy and that energy we get in from nutrition so most of the food that we're eating in our different countries there's different type of grades there's grade a b c d so depending on the country that you are in most of the time when you're in a developed country the country can afford a a great type of food which is the food that is very high in all the nutrients that we need and then in other countries like developing countries most of the time they, they are supplied with C grade and D grade food. Those are the type of food that don't have enough nutrients in them. So proper nutrition is good because it helps you to level up the nutrient intake because that is what we need as humans. It's not all about the amount of food you can eat. It's about the nutrients inside the food. If you can eat eight times a day and the nutrients in those food are very low, you're not doing anything. But if you can eat twice a day and the nutrients in, in the foods that you're eating, they enough. So which means you're getting enough nutrients. Your immune system is strong. That's the whole point. You, we need to always keep our immune system in a very good state. So that needs proper nutrition. What's up? What's good, guys? It's your favorite trainer here and the keto expert as well. I just want to tell you that if any of you need help with any of your nutrition and your fitness goal, I got you. Just shoot me a message on 067-038-5528. It's 067-038-5528. I got you. Third one. Let's move into staying hydrated. Staying hydrated, that's a very tricky one, you know, because I used to neglect water so much and... I'll catch myself having very crazy cravings. The cravings will never go away. And only to find out later on that actually when you are thirsty, at that time your body is dehydrated. And the only thing that will, your body will tell you how it's dehydrated is by making you more hungry. That's how the body tells you when it's thirsty. It doesn't tell you, hey dude, go drink more water. No, it says, go have more food. This is because we have a coded DNA history whereby our ancestors back then, they will get their hydration through fruits. So they'll have to chew in order to, to get hydrated. So we have that coded DNA inside our gene. That's why when we are thirsty, we get more cravings instead of you saying, I wanna drink more water. So staying hydrated is very important because it can make your weight loss journey perfect it can make your lean muscle gaining journey perfect so stay hydrated
the fourth one now high fat give good quality i know right you know when i started training everyone always said no high fats are very bad don't eat anything with high fat take off the, the the skin on the chicken when you eat it take off the skin on the salmon when you eat it like it was it was a thing you know that like fats are bad and only to find out later on actually no fats are not bad you know because once you you are you are fat adapted your body starts to use the fat that you store inside your body as a source of energy that's why you can be able to wake up and not even crave anything or even eat breakfast you will just go throughout with your day and your your body will be just tapping on your own fat source as a source of energy the, the nice thing about this part is that your brain loves fat. Your brain doesn't rely on glucose a lot. It relies more into fat. So which means you'll be very good in your cognitive and as well as your fat, your fat loss will be the best. So you'll be losing fat as you're walking, as you're talking, as you're thinking, as you are doing anything. Any movement that you'll be doing, you'll be using fat. Okay, so high fat intake equals to high fat burning metabolism. So high fat is good. The last one, cardio improves lean muscle gain. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know, when I started, I, I was told so much that, no, when you do so much cardio, you're going to burn so much muscle. Then I found myself not doing a lot of cardio but it was not healthy because I, could, I didn't like the weight I was putting on. I couldn't handle it, you know. I could feel my heart that was working too much to, to do that. And also, when you, you, you don't do cardio, your, your resting in between sets becomes way longer because the ATP process depends on your cardiovascular, the strength of your cardiovascular to become much more faster. What do I mean about that? Let me not just blow your mind, okay? So let me just put it down nice and neat in a simple English way. So this is what happens. Your ATP goes along with your mitochondria. Your mitochondria is attached to the muscle. So that whole process, in order for it to happen, your blood circulation needs to be in a best level. So what do I mean about that? For you to have enough energy in that muscle to make the same movement again in a better way and a better strength, you need your, your energy needs to be fully restarted in that muscle you know so if your cardio is not that good the chances are you you will need a good two minutes to to rest in order for you to have a good strength or good reps on the on, on the ex, extra weight that you're gonna be taking but if your cardiovascular is very good and strong you you need not even more than a minute you are fully rested your muscles are ready again to push that heavy weight i know it's fascinating well that's how science is you know science proves it all so i hope these uh five things that i wish i knew before i started training they will help you also on your journey and Stay tuned into the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I know you want to subscribe and share this video with other people that you think it will help them as well. And click the alert button because there's more that is coming. Cheers.